Hi, it's Mr. Cali, and we're going to start looking at some Scratch basics. The first is introducing you to the characters you're going to use in various different Scratch games. They're called sprites. Now, when you open Scratch, Scratch the Cat is the first sprite um, that you'll see. Now, you might not want to use Scratch, so there are ways of replacing him. First of all, right-click and you can delete him. There we go. Um, and to get a new sprite, you can do a few different things. You can either paint one, you can choose a new sprite from a picture, or you can get a surprise one. Um, I'm going to choose a new one from a picture because there are two different ways of doing that. First of all, um, where am I? If you drop down here, you can flip through the different drives that are available to you. I'm just having a quick look um, to find the scratch there we go the scratch default sprites are in costumes here so what I can do is I can flip through the different sprites and choose ones that are preloaded into scratch or if I found and saved my own picture I can go to find my documents here I'll browse through my pictures or wherever you might have saved an image there we go, I'm going to use images, I'm going to use the school logo, click OK, and up it pops. Now, at the moment, that you can see if I move it around, it's got a white square around it. So you can do some basic editing of sprites within um, Scratch. If you're going to do anything complicated, I suggest you do it before you save the sprites and import it into there. You might want to do it in Photoshop or Fireworks or such. But to do some basic editing, I'm just going to show you that if I edit Go, sorry, go, click on my sprite, go to the script panel, choose costumes, and here I'm going to edit my sprite. Now I want this white background to go see-through, so I'm going to click on my paint bucket, choose this little checkerboard colour down here, and click. And you'll see that that area goes checked, that means that that's now see-through. I can do that with the middle of the logo and so on. Um, once I'm done, I'm going to make sure by clicking here that my costume center is in the middle. That's really important. If you've got a sprite like Scratch the Cat, always make sure that they're facing towards the right to start off with. That's really important. Otherwise, if you try and put movement commands in later, they just will end up pointing in silly directions. So when you're done, click OK. If you want to rename your sprite, you can do so up here. There we go. Um, and that's basically how to import and edit a sprite from a picture that you've got saved.